Hi everybody, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Cars and Crosby. Corvette delivery day. This one's actually one that we had on the channel earlier, but because it came in in the middle of the winter, we kept it. And well, it's delivery day. It's a beautiful May day. And this customer is picking up, in my opinion, one of the best Cars and Crosby touches that we've done at Finn Chevrolet to date, as it's got a lot of really cool accessories. This was a customer that was emphasizing style over uh, performance. And in my opinion, they hit it out of the park. We also got mine, which is ceramic matrix gray beside it so that you can see a comparison of Arctic white to ceramic matrix gray. And I've also got a coupe and this is a hard top convertible. So lots of comparisons and style and design on today's episode. All right, guys, summer is almost here. Spring, I'll take it. This is a May Day delivery, and uh, well, this is what it's all about. I'm in my element most when I'm doing Corvette deliveries, in my opinion. This is one that was on the channel earlier in the dead of winter, and uh, we stored their Corvette until it got a little bit nicer out. So let me introduce you to an old friend to the channel that we, we featured when it first came in off the truck. But now look at her, she's all ready to go. This is a 2LT hardtop convertible non-Z51 that we have done a ton of uh, work into styling it. So instead of putting 10 grand into a Z51 package, the customer recognized that they were not gonna be doing anything related to the track. And we did a lot of things with that money towards style. Now, right off the bat, you'll see a comparison between mine apologize for the wind i was trying to hide uh back here hoping that the wind would help i've still got my all season set on here now you guys know already that i don't have a garage queen this thing gets out and driven so i apologize for the dirt on here uh these are the oem sets that i got from the factory that i painted black and i put an all season set on and um then I also have my summer shoes, and this one here has got its summer shoes. So in terms of a direct comparison, these are the Vossen HF2s that are done in a 20 in the front and a 21 in the back. And this in particular, pause the screen guys, this is why we do this. Look at how it fills out that gap. You've got the contrast from the bright red caliper. You've got the billet aluminum Vossen uh, center cap with your Vossen lug nuts that are in a forged aluminum. This is uh, got a pretty decent offset. I think it's 42, so you can see the dish on it, but also just look at how it's situated on the build of the body compared to mine. I'm not gonna beat up on mine too much because these are obviously just my transition sets, but see how the back wheels have a big gap and they kind of sit a little bit in from the body almost and then compare it to this. This is the offset that we want and what I think it should have from the factory. No hits against General Motors. They make a great product and I don't want to bite the hand that feeds. But this, in my opinion, has the right shoes for the outfit now. Now we also put some money into getting a uh, carbon flash metallic uh, 5VM ground effects kit. So you'll see in this beautiful sunlight, we have some carbon flash metallic to go with the boomerang intake inserts. And then we've also got the painted nacelles and top. Now mine being a coupe, you can't get that from the factory, but that didn't stop me from trying to replicate that style. And I did this at Scotty's shine shop to kind of get it as close to what the hard top looks like as possible. Paint wise, this is Arctic white. It used to be the number one color on the C7 Corvette. And when the C8 came around, things changed. Arctic white has always been, in my opinion, a iconic color that has stayed in the top three or four for the entire time that the C8s have been in production, but it's slowly um, becoming less popular as there's so many cool new colors that are coming out. Hypersonic metallic is my uh, number one choice right now. Uh, Red mist metallic is a close second in terms of um, colors that really wow me. No offense to my ceramic matrix gray, I absolutely love it. Most people think my Corvette is white until you have it beside an Arctic white Corvette and then you really get to see the difference between them. This is more of a gray bluish tone, but it has mica in it, which is a pearlescent tone and it changes in the light. Now I also have a PPF done to the front of mine so that would slightly affect how it finishes, especially because this is now 
almost three years old, this PPF that's on here. And I also just got recently done PPF on my front windshield to protect it from having a very expensive replacement due to the fact that it has a heads up display. Now 2LT, so sweet spot in terms of features, no sacrifice on the inside for when he's driving around and um, you know wanted to use all those features. So that's not something that I want to make a sacrifice on. But in terms of the Z51 package, you know, this thing looks like it has a Z51 package. We put the MPP exhaust on it, but we put that money into wheels and ground effects to give it that, you know, that more sporty look, especially if he's not planning on taking it to the track. Keep in mind, guys, the Z51 package is mainly for people that are going to be doing spirited driving, as they say in the owner's manual. And if he doesn't plan on doing that and he wants his car to look good, I have no problem with that. And he's using his money well, because in reality, if he spent $10,000 Canadian on that Z51 package or just just shy of that, I don't want to scare people with the, the price saying it's 10 grand because it's not. The 2LT is though, that, that option is, but the Z51 package is about eight grand Amer Canadian. Uh, again, I'm not trying to scare people. Canadian, it's about eight grand. I guess with taxes, that's around 10 grand because uh, we have about 13% sales tax on everything here up in Canada. Uh, make fun of us, everyone in America. But uh, yeah, enough about that. I don't know how I got on that tangent. Anyways, where I'm going with this is that if you're wanting to allot the money towards something that you focus on, this is a really cost-effective way of doing it and making the car fit your demeanor and lifestyle. Now on the inside, again, I've had very, very bad luck with this over the last few days. Uh, this tint that we have on here is a ceramic tint and it's been on for, well, months now. So I'm not afraid about what's gonna happen with me rolling down the windows, but I'm gonna hit the unlock button, hold this button down below here, and hopefully, yes, we might have an uninterrupted transition. We haven't had one of those on the channel for a very long time. Allow me to introduce you to a touch of red that goes along with the brake calipers and the logo on the outside, because this is a two-tone adrenaline red interior. Now, I like to talk about how much bang for your buck you get on this. You guys will remember I just had an episode uh, with a 3LT that had a similar interior to this, said that had suede. And when you look at all the different types of materials that are in this 2LT. You've got your carbon fibre, you've got your brushed aluminum on here that has laser cut speaker covers on here. You've got carbon fibre, full Napa leather here, perforated leather that's solid on this one, including the steering wheel, some beautiful red stitching to just give it that nice accent. You know, you know that this is something special, even though it's not a 3LT, when you put the upgraded GT2 seats in and you add the carbon fiber. So another cost-effective solution in order to pay for the nacelles and the high wing spoiler was getting a 2LT over a 3LT. You know, you gotta think about your bang for your buck. And that's, that's one of the things that I do um, most when I'm dealing with a consultation is I think, you know, is that suede headliner and the um, dash and everything being wrapped in leather, is that gonna make your day even better? or do you wanna use that money towards getting that high wing spoiler and painting the nacelles? You know, it's about $3,500 Canadian to do a 2LT to a 3LT upgrade. And that kind of money went a long way on the styling of the Corvette and that bang per dollar is exactly where I like to, you know, show off and gloat that I have um, a good sense for because you're gonna do that cost benefit analysis on stuff. And once you put it into a, um, you know, a toe to toe match with certain items, it might become very apparent after doing that to be able to understand what you want. So you can obviously deduce this and do this yourself. Uh, I'm going to help you out in coaching you. I'm not going to tell you what you need to do. Um, I'm not going to tell you what color you want to do, but, uh, you know, in terms of certain things like, Hey, I want it to look really aggressive. Um, you know, a style is my main thing. Well, let's look at sacrificing a 3LT and putting it towards some features on the outside. That's the kind of logic that I'm gonna to bring to the table when we do our work together. Now, um, in my opinion, this car is very clean. And that's something that uh, I try to do. Obviously, ironically, mine's dirty and I'm referring to it as a clean car. But you don't get distracted with things that don't make sense. Even though we've got three colors on this vehicle. We've got Arctic White as our primary, we've got Carbon Fash Metallic as our secondary, and then we've got Adrenaline Red as our tertiary. You still don't really get overwhelmed with this car in terms of, um, you know, there being too much stuff going on. You always want to do, and this is a trick that I've done for a long time. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the channel. When I look at a car, I close my eyes and then I open them up 
and the first thing that my eyes get uh, tracked to is usually the thing that stands out the most. And so when I'm doing one of these builds, I always want to make sure that I do that. And for this one, the first thing I look at is these wheels with the brake calipers. And then I think, okay, cool. It's a white car. It's got a contrast of cool, you know, stance with the wheels. But then I see this red on the brakes. And then I look up and I see it in the interior. And, and it all starts to make sense. And it's that feast that I always talk about. You know, you got your appetizer with it having a nice stance. It's got white with a nice contrast of red. When you look into it further, you see that there's beautiful stitching to go with the brake calipers and the seats when you're sitting in them are going to have that red shining through on the bolster so you know as you look at this car more it starts to reward you with more and more little things that complement the entire build and make it look like this was a design straight from the factory so i'm quite proud of this build and i hope that many of you guys can use this as a tool to be able to help you guys out in designing it or if you just want to look at a cool car well here you go you tuned into the right show because this is definitely a cool car um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet on this episode in case that there is, you know, an example that I want to show off. I'm trying to get as many of these episodes that are design related to just strictly base on that because I find that if I go off onto a rant, I can't remember which episode I did it in, in terms of teaching you guys a lesson and then sending it to people. So this one is going to be strictly focused on this specific car in terms of consistent design language, getting a contrast between carbon flash metallic and Arctic white and seeing how you can get a good stance on your car and make it a clean, consistent design language with also an emphasis on style instead of performance and using your budget properly in order to do that. I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada. If you're interested in doing a project with me, reach out. My email's in the description. I would love to be able to help you out, even if you're in America or overseas or something, let me know because I have the access to all these accessories that I can help you out in getting them drop shipped to your location. I have lots of different vendors, including a team in America that does all my Vossen wheels. So now I have a direct contact with Vossen that is doing all my major work with them. And in this specific episode with it having Vossens on it, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that will use this as inspo. And so if you're in the States and you're interested in getting a set, I have a direct contact that will ship them from Miami and help you out with the costs and the logistics related to that down in the States. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more awesome content. I'm Morgan Crosby and happy motoring.